Mary Riga, who was living in Mombasa, relocated to Nairobi after she was diagnosed with breast cancer in the year 2012. She decided to shift from her home as her husband never showed concern over her health condition. She moved into a friend's house in Babandogo, who is also a cancer patient. Mary's family rejection has led to emotional torture as her six children cannot be able to cater for her personal needs and also the medical bills. Nikaenda private ingine hapo, wakaniandikia barua. Nikaenda Coast General. Kuenda Coast General wakaanza ku, kunishulikia, kuniangalia, wakanipiga picha. Lakini kawa sasa zile pesa vile zinavoenda. Wakatu ilipofikia, wakatu operation, nikakosa hiyo pesa. Pesa zingine za kuongezea nifanyi operation. Kasa watokia wakatu huo, sasa niseme niko tu, nikutumia tu madawa tu za penkila, Eh, ndio na meza na nilipokuja hapa Nairobi nikajaribu kwenda nini Muradi Baraka Hospital wakanielezea ati hiyo sasa ati shaenea siwezi tibika ningojie kifo unaona mimi nikasema ah wakani wali ni dress mara moja tu Na vila luvo nyelezea hivo, miru wangu kakufa. Kwa saa ilikuwa itakana niwe nikienda, wakinifanya dressing. Lakini saa vila nyelezea hivo, miru wangu kakata. Sukurudi tena. Hmm. Yasa ndio badu niko hapa. Ndio badu mzuri, niko na mama mmoja rafiki yangu. Yaka nyelekeza, niseme kama kijana yangu, uyo, uyu Ben. Yaka nyelekeza kwake. Ya saa hundi ya kushulikia. Ndia kawapigia simu. Mujo munione vile niko. Eh. Bana Dimba, who is a community health worker in the area, has tried his best to ensure that Mary is getting daily medical care at the Babandogo Health Center as they wait for a medical referral to another hospital. Sisi kama wanaudumu wana kijiji, tuhuwa tunafasaidia wana kijiji kuwasaidia katika shida mbalimbali mbali ya ugonjwa. Na shida inye mifanya tuwaite ni ya kwamba kiwango cha mama mali mefika imetishinda vile tuneza saidia. Sisi wakati muta napolemea kwa nyumba kuwa tunakaa kama wana kijiji tunachanga pesa tunampeleka kwa hospitali. Lakini hii ya mama vile mali mefika tukona ya kwamba sisi peketa tuwezi. Ndivo jinsi kasema kwamba tuwaite ili kuje wa Kenya waone Na tunaomba usaidizi kwa sababu sisi kama wanaudumu tukona challenges mingi sana katika kijiji. Kiti ya kwanza, sirikali jatambua mwanaudumu wa kijiji. Kwa sababu kazi yote tunafanya, tumachia tu sisi kivietu. Kwa hivyo naomba, kama county government vile saizi mambi mekuja kwa, kwa mashinani, waweze kusaidia wanaudumu wa kijiji, tunapo kumbana na shida kama hizi, tuone vile tunaza saidia. But even a referral may not be good news to the 52-year-old. Financial help is what she needs the most to start a comprehensive treatment. Mary said that each time she got an operational appointment, her financial status drew her back as raising the amount required was a problem. This misfortune has exacerbated the condition of the cancer on her left breast. The breast has been reduced to a festering wound and she has to take strong painkillers daily. She is urging well wishes to help her in any possible way so that she can go for treatment. She requires an operation and chemotherapy session in order to eliminate the cancer completely. Lilian Widera, GBS News.